And we're back! <laughs> hey, Ginger! What's going on, Ginger? I don't know. It's just been a really crazy night tonight. Um, so, um, I first want to, like, clarify um, the video that you put up on my channel because I think it is kind of getting misconstrued and it's kind of confusing and I think um, like somebody thought it was about them and it's not. Um, I know I've heard several people say it was about something else and it wasn't about who that person it wasn't about Hubbard. Hubbard thinks it's about him but it was not about him. So we have no problem with Hubbard. Was, you know, me and Allison kind of went head to head the other day, yesterday, the day before. I don't know. I'm so confused because I just have been so busy lately. And yeah. we kind of went head to head. And um, I guess, you know, Queenie was watching, even though it was an open panel. You know, Queenie could have came in and confronted me at any time if she felt like it. But she didn't. She uh, decided to go live sometime during the day. You know, me and you were at my doctor's appointment and call me out. And it's funny because I don't even think they like Allison. And it wasn't, it, it had nothing to do with Queenie, like, at all. You know, and um, at this, this point in time, like, I'm hearing rumblings that we're talking about Queenie and we're talking about MR and we're talking about Hubbard and like, in fact, we haven't said anything about them. So I was kind of confused why Queenie wanted to jump in, in our business. Yeah. And I, I didn't, I couldn't even watch it. So then you go and you're confused. So you're just kind of making a video what I'm trying to tell you. And, you know, later on that day, you know, me and Allison actually made up. You and Allison fine. made up. Make and that a big I point. I'm still confused why Queenie had decided to get in the middle of it. So then I think what happened was they had played your video on their stream and somehow Hubbard took it as it was about him. And I kept hearing little rumblings that we were talking about them and we're attacking them and such. And that's just not the case. Like telling somebody to, anywhere. Telling somebody to mind their business is not talking smack. <laughs> no. And, but and you and Allison made up. Telling in the art to mind her business or Hubbard it was it was about Queenie minding her business. Because it had the whole situation had nothing to do with her at all and that's why i've been calling her like the little troublemaker crew you know yeah. because she just she just like bounces around causes chaos and causes trouble and then you know it's it's like a shit show so um fast forward a couple days you know we see hubbard in a chat and he seems really pissed at us and i'm very confused by that because you know we haven't really said anything about hubbard in a negative way and I was like, okay, well, you know, then, like, not too long ago, I get a phone call from Raquel, and she's really upset. She's like, you know, Jamie, I, I'm going to leave MBR alone. Like, she's, you know, she's, she's crying. People are calling her house, and, and she, you know, I'm worried about her. And I'm like, no, Ray Ray, they're just, they're just crying wolf. Like, they just see that. And then that's when I find out, like, all the things that had took place. And I, I really wish that people would stop doing that, like, you know, we don't need to be calling each other's employers and families and, 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 you know, doxing personal info. You know, I feel bad for MER, but, you know, she's going to let these people on her panel and, you know, you know what they do to me. I mean, yeah. they, they dox me all the time. They, they talk about my personal private information, you know, and it's just. And we haven't been live nowhere. We haven't said nothing about nobody. No. At all. <laughs> Honestly, like. The, the boss of train has sailed. Like, it's over. It's done. Like, all I've heard is people saying that they're, they don't want to talk about teen anymore. They don't want to talk about boss up anymore. It's like, it's so 2019. Like, it's old news. Yeah. Like, it's done. It's over. So, I don't understand. I guess, you know, it, it's their pattern where when they don't have content, they want to go fuck with people and stir the shit up. And then get people to fight back with them so they can have content. And we're just not taking the bait this time, yeah. guys. We're, I, I, I we're don't have a problem with Hubbard guys. at all. We're not going to... I'm sorry, go ahead, honey. I don't have no problem with Hubbard, Queenie, or MER, or any of them. I don't have no problem with none of them over there. 
And that's why I want to say I kept hearing my name brought up and people messaging me too. And like, dude, I have no clue what you're talking about because I'm not even talking about these people. I actually like Queenie and MUR. It's funny. I mean, we go, like, we work out every day. We're doing the keto diet. We're, you know, making plans for our future. Like, we don't have time to sit around on YouTube and debate every time somebody brings our name up. So, I know. a lot of times we just can't respond, you know? And it's so just weird that it's just a, a couple of people that just keep stirring up trouble. And, and Queenie, that's you. You know, you, you get in people's business, you try to fight people's fights, you start fights where there is no fight, and then when you get a little bit of backlash, you go crying about it. And, and you know, and you're, I mean, you're, you're kind of doing the same. I mean, you're, you finally got to your goal of a thousand subs, and you're going to let people get on your panel and get doxxed every night. I mean, do you want to lose your channel? Like, this, that's what's going to happen. Like, you know, and it, it's, it's funny because they're not doing it on their own panels in VR. They're going to your panel and destroying your channel. I, I feel bad for Queenie and MR because they're being used as little pawns in people's games. You know, know. they're all going to their channels. If you want to be a big channel and you want all that shit talking on your channel, well, you're going to get you're going to get hit back. But I like I MR and Queenie. That's what they want to do. They'll let them. I mean, I don't care if you want to sit there and talk shit about people every day and call people names and bully people and harass people, then be about that life. Or allow it to happen Listen, on your channel. We're not taking the bait anymore. Or allowing it to happen on your channel. Even if you're not doing it, but you're allowing it to happen on your live stream, you know, not saying anything. Because I've heard so much crap over the past few days. Like, people were saying, like, people were talking about us and them and that. I'm like, where's all these live streams going on that people were talking all the smack? Because people ain't been live. <laughs> No, no. I, mean, I jumped on a couple of panels recently, but it was never to really say anything. You were supporting I mean, somebody else. You helped AZ like, that one night. Um, I can't remember. There was a few other panels that we that I was on with you. And remember, because that Barbie girl didn't realize we were together. It's just, and yes, same. yes, that's right. And we talked to Barbie girl, and I went on Arizona's panel to kind of help him out one night. Because he was really depressed and I felt bad for him. You know, you guys try to control who people are friends with. And, you know, I'm not going to name this person by name, but I know, you know, Dark Arts is your control account, honey. You know, yeah, like, I've seen that account somewhere that's tonight. Start up trouble. Like, people can get along with other people. Like, I have friends that aren't necessarily friends with my other friends. And it's called adulting. Like, not everybody's going to get along. You know, AC can be friends with whoever he wants to. You know, as long as we're not, like, trying to control him, which I'm not. And AZ wants, wants to be friends with everybody. And AZ just wants to be friends with everybody. Let him be friends with everybody. Leave him alone. Just be nice. Yeah, just leave him alone, man. He's, he's just trying to, like, have friends on YouTube. And, you know, you guys are driving that man insane, trying to control him and control who he talks to. Just let him be himself. You know, he's got issues. Yeah, there's a couple friends I have that, that have other friends that I, I don't get along with, but I just don't hang around when that other person's around, and I don't say nothing. Exactly. I just go my own separate way. I live my own life. <laughs> have my own stuff. I have plenty of TV channels to watch. I have Hulu. I have <laughs> Netflix. I am cool. See, what they don't realize is they already have one person on their panel that has been, like, court-ordered not to talk about other people, and they're going to still sit up there and talk about people every day. It's like, you know, you've already got one person that's gotten in trouble for it, okay? Like, legally. You know, yeah. find other content. Like, you don't have to be... Some people just feel like they have to be feuding with somebody at all times. Yeah, I don't want to you feud know? with somebody every day. You don't have to feud with people. And, and after all this is said and done, when we end this and, and publish this this uh, podcast, they're going to be like, they're over there talking smack. No, we're not talking smack. We're just putting our own take. Clarifying. Clarifying. That. Issuing our opinion. We're not saying anything negative about anyone. So how, I don't, it happens all the time. I mean, you talked about it earlier. I was like, well, we've done this and they still went and did that. You know, no matter what we say. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Y'all keep the melee over there. We're not going to be a part of it. We're not going to take the bait. I'm not going to fight you guys back. I'm 
so it's so 2019. We're so over it. Go play with like, your sock puppet you know, accounts. Their sock puppet accounts. I mean, really, y'all should find something to do. I mean, there's so many other things that you can stream about that isn't harassing people. Yeah. I see certain people trying with game streams and stuff like that. There's so many other things. I, I see people playing music, you know. There's there's so many other things to do than stand there and just talk about other people. Well, that that you're not being talked about. They're attacked all the time. And they're not being attacked by us. I don't know who's attacking them, but it's not me. It ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. I think there's a couple little troublemakers over there. Queenie's one of them. Yeah. And, and that's where it, it keeps going. It just doesn't end. Yep. Well, you know, you gotta stand in your own shit pile. And that's that's one thing I never stand. They kept they kept pointing the finger, and going, "These people are talking smack." And I think they were talking about me and you. But I'm like, we ain't saying nothing to nobody, nothing at all. <laughs> I don't see where this I is mean, coming I, from. <laughs> I might have said the troublemaker crew in a chat the other day. But I was referring to Queenie, and that's because she knows what she did, you know, and it's just, it's just ridiculous at this point. You know, like, you know, Queenie, you don't have to fight with people every day. You don't have to make up fights. You don't have to jump into people's business that don't have nothing to do with you. You don't have to tell your friends that people are attacking you when you're not getting attacked. I mean, just calm down. Like, seriously, just calm down. I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Queenie. And I wish she would just do her gaming know, streams and, and just, she's a great person. She has a great heart. Queenie, just do your own thing. You don't have to fight with nobody. You don't have well, to. My opinion is different. I think she's a mean girl deep down. I think she likes being a mean girl. I don't think she cares about anybody but herself. But I respect her opinion. You, you got to respect my opinion. I do. I do. You know, but I think Queenie can do her own thing and, and have fun doing it. You know, I really think she can. Well, she's talented in a lot of things. She's like a TV encyclopedia. Oh, yeah, I she mean, is. She has talents. You know, she's just using them the wrong way. Like, you know, it it doesn't make y'all look good that you're just, like, harassing people every day. I mean, it's every day you just go through the circle of people of who to harass, and it, it never ends. Like, you know should be more positive and uplifting on this platform and not just tear people down every single day. I mean, it's just getting old. Like, yeah. nobody is in inter- You know, most of the people are, that are watching are just watching to see what <clears throat> fucked up things you guys will do next. Like, I think even the people in your chats are starting to, like, get bored with it. You know? I mean, it's just the same circle. I'm bored with it, too. Over yeah. again. I'm bored, bored of the finger getting pointed at me for making videos about somebody that I didn't make videos about and this and that. And I was like, dude, I wasn't even that. That wasn't even there. I've been, I've been making videos on 911 calls. Just seeing if, how that will take off. See if that anything will I don't know if it will. I'm just trying something. I know. I've been watching this trial that's going on right now on the Blue Moon. Ball and Crime channel. And I want to do a video on that like we did one on the Skylar Richardson. Yeah. And so I've been like really busy. Is it called the like Blue Moon Murders? Going on. Was so it that the, way we could do a video about that because that's going to be interesting. Was it the Blue Moon Murders? Is that what it's called? Yeah. I mean, our Skylar Richardson video had a good amount of views on it, babe. I mean, you know. Yeah. I want to do more true crime with you. That's what, and we've talked about this forever, you know. And, uh,. Yeah, just the true crime videos, are, I really love doing those videos in the McCamey manner. And I would like to see more people <laughs> in the drama community doing, like, topics of things that are interesting. You know, yeah. it, it, I, I know personally, I don't like sitting there watching a stream where all it is is bashing other human beings that have problems. Let me like, tell you the easiest you know, thing you to do. bash me for having PTSD and having issues and having problems. You know, that half the motherfuckers on this tier have to. You know what? And it, here's the easiest thing to do nowadays: is Netflix and Hulu, and always always having some new documentary or new show that they're playing. What you do is, when you get a new show or a new documentary, you get a group of people together and y'all discuss it like a book club. But you're watching documentaries that are, and that's going to be trending in the net in the uh, YouTube algorithm. So you'll get plenty of views talking about some of these shows to watch on Netflix and Hulu. 
you know, what you thought about what's going on with the new episodes. See how popular the Walking Dead videos are, I'm just saying. I know, there's just so many more interesting things that will get people's attention that doesn't have anything to do with, like, harassing other humans. I mean, it's just, it's, it's getting old, guys. It really is. That or to, right now you talk about the coronavirus and you'll go viral. <laughs> Put out a video about the coronavirus, I mean. I know, man, right? I feel you on that. You could badmouth Trump and have a million mouth. subscribers tomorrow. I mean, just my video about the McCain Manor, I got over 20,000 views on that video. Uh, or talk about Onision. You could talk about Onision all day long and dog that dude out. <laughs> and nobody can. Everybody, everybody will love you. I know. So there's so well, many other things that can be done. Get views. I mean, it is. You just like, gotta stay off of harassing or, people. Or James Parker's missing people thing. That is a gold mine. Missing people streams when you just discuss people that are missing recently? You know, to help people get back together with their families? I like discussing the ones that have been missing for years that, like, people lose interest with. Yeah. I think we should do one on Brittany Wood. You're right. Out of uh, Baldwin County. And who's the one? Who was the girl that went missing here before the hippie girl on the beach? Um, Tiffany Daniels. That's right. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a video where we drive her last drive. Right. And we're gonna do a Bundy's yeah, last ride too. For sure. These are all topics me and Jamie have discussed that we're gonna do. You know that we we talk about stuff we want to do all the time, other than talk shit about somebody. The other, we don't even talk about talking shit about somebody. We just talk about other video ideas we want to do. I love our little podcast. I do too. It's fun. And I just hope that, you know, people listen and don't see it as an attack. They actually like absorb the information. You know, it's, it's not attacking people. I'm not trying to put anybody down. You know, I am a little irritated with Queenie being a little troublemaker that she is. But, you know, I don't hate her. You know, I hope that she is happy. I hope that her friends make her happy. I hope that her game lines make her happy. I just don't like that she likes to keep stirring up trouble with me to get attention. You know, yeah. it's like, okay, well, let me go poke Jamie, you know, because then my friends will give me attention. Like, it, it's, it's over, guys. Like, I'm not going to keep fighting with y'all. You know, right. I'm on to, like, other things. You know, Boss Up is, is that ship has sailed, you know? Yeah. The, the, now that, you know, Tina can't talk about the Greens, it's the court order, whatever. That ship has sailed. It's, it's over. It's done. I want to see the cooking videos. 2020 now. What happened to the cooking videos? I mean, I would donate money for ingredients if she did a cooking video. That, that, I, that's the best thing to do. Go to the Wolf Pit. Y'all go watch that channel. Right, man, somebody bought him a van. Y'all want to talk about getting money? Yeah. Do cooking videos. Right. You would get all kind of donations. You wouldn't have to lie about things or scam people. Yeah. And people would help you because they want to see you cook certain things. And then they get to know you. And, you know, bam. And, and you're doing it in an honest way. I wish you know, I had a nice kitchen to do cooking videos in. or cheat. I wish I had a nice kitchen. I would do cooking videos. I guarantee you, me and you would do cooking videos together. <laughs> Meal prep ones. It'll happen yeah. for us. You gotta have lighting right, and it's gotta, you know, you gotta make sure things are set right. It's, it's difficult. Like, I've seen them, like, people buy those people cameras. I've seen them buy, like, that one lady, Jan, that I was watching. They, like, some one of her viewers sent her a brand new cookware set. Oh, yeah, Jan and Cisco or whatever her name was, or Sino, or... She was making the Dollar Tree meals, like, <laughs> yes. Jan and is awesome. Oh, God, that was awful. <laughs> Y'all look up Jan Dollar Tree cooking videos or something. Try to find Jan. Maybe I'll find a link and put it in the description of the video. <laughs> Go find it Jan. Like, it looked like a jail... It's like... <laughs> I can't even. It looked like prison food. She cut up the burritos. Like I've watched on... What is that? Lock Up Joe? Yeah. Lock Up Raw. <laughs> Like, old girl literally chopped up burrito on top. I know, I've seen that. Of whatever. It was crazy. Anyway. <laughs> we're getting off topic. No, I think we're enjoying our discussion. You know, there's plenty of other things to talk about in this community. There's plenty of other things to do. There, There's a bright future ahead. There's a horizon. I'm so sleepy. Me too. I'm about I ready. 
I, w- I was trying to go to bed earlier, and then Raquel called me. I was just like, I had no idea all that went on. And, you know, Nora, if you're listening, like, I'm really sorry that happened to you. Like, I can't imagine. She suffers from PTSD like I do as well. And when people put that stuff out, it's like re- victimizing her. You know, it's bringing up that trauma. It's making her feel that pain again. And that's so long on so many levels. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, you, you can't just be bringing up something so traumatic that's happened to the person. Yeah. Like, please don't ever do anything like that again. I mean, bring up my stuff, okay? Because I don't pay attention to it. Leave Nora alone. Bring up every fucked up thing I've ever done. You know, cutting myself, whatever. Bring it all up. But leave Nora the fuck alone. Please. Yeah, yeah, I'll just leave Nora alone. You know, Nora's a nice lady. But I think we're ready to end this and get out of here because it's getting late. We got crap to do. Well, I'm going to let you go, too. I love you. Okay, I love you, too. Uh, America's greatest country on earth.